outside. I, not really, but I'm definitely inside a tent. Why don't you come on in and let me give you a tour to play? Family, here we go. Uh, we got the ceiling, we got the floor. This is my bed, really just sleeping back. I got my Bible, some reading material, my favorite stats, uh, handy dandy book bag. And of course, I can't forget the light. Uh-huh, that's right. Uh, well, this is the tent, welcome. I grew up camping and wanted to visit old pastimes. When you really think about it, tents are kind of cool. I mean, you're sheltered, you have a little zipper, you have the whole place to yourself. You don't have to pay rent on this thing. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Well, except the fact that there's no heat in there. It's not well insulated, there's no mattress, it's fairly dark and it's super cramped. I mean, cramped, y'all. If you've ever been in a tent before, you know it's a temporary living space. This is all real cute for like a day or two, but any longer than that, is unwise. The longer I thought about it, I realized that this tent makes a really good metaphor for our minds and how we live. Whether we realize it or not, we all have a part of us that is a little bit more hidden than others. A part of us that goes beyond the exterior and is hidden beneath the surface. Like this tent, we tend to believe that our secrets, our mistakes, our past, the things we tend to hide are safe in this dark space that we've made our home. The lie we often tell ourselves is that we're in security, but really we're living out of insecurity. Below the surface, many of us are living in the dark in some way, shape, or form. For some, above the surface, you appear as confident and put together. But beneath the surface, you've struggled with your mental health and hide what you're struggling with from others. For some, above the surface, you're calm, cool, collected. But beneath the surface, you're really angry, pained, and numb to your own emotions. Some of you may be hiding certain addictions, a specific way of living, a drive to people please, a need for love and affirmation, or even abuse underneath the surface. I'm not listing these things to point fingers at you. I'm coming as someone who has his fair share of things below the surface that I'm not proud of. My story involves depression and addiction and feeling alone. Our stories are less about what we're hiding but more about the why. As humans, our natural pattern is to disconnect from others and retreat into ourselves when we experience shame. Shame pushes us to build up boundaries in hopes that we'll be protected. The thing is, this can't protect us from the storms of life. This isn't keeping us safe and living in the darkness with a false sense of light isn't leading us out, but keeping us in. John, one of the four accounts of the good news of Jesus begins with a beautiful depiction of Jesus. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was with God. In the beginning, all things were created through him and apart from him, not one thing was created that has been created. In him was life and the life was the light of men. That light shines in the darkness, and yet the darkness did not overcome it. Jesus, also known as the Word, existed from the very beginning, before the creation of the world, before anything that existed even existed, the Word was there. God the Father, God the Spirit, and God the Son also known as Jesus, existed long before anything or anyone else. John emphasizes the point here that all things were created through Jesus. Not some things, not half things, not a quarter of things, but all things were created through Jesus. Jesus is life. Let's run that back because I don't think you heard me. It's not that Jesus contains or holds life. Jesus himself is life. Jesus is the light of men, which means when Jesus steps into your circumstance, life steps in. When Jesus steps into your circumstance, light steps in.
and the darkness cannot overtake it, no matter how dark. And this isn't just poetic language. It's the truth. Example, this is what it looks like living in the darkness. You can't see anything around you. In this space, it's easy to lie to yourself, to lie to others, to take part in doing what pleases you and feels good, even when you know it isn't good, to look out only for yourself, to hold secrets and to entertain voices that aren't God's voice. But living in the light allows you to see the world around you truly. Living in the light allows you to see the life you've been living isn't life to the full. Life in the light gives you the courage and the strength to remove yourself from situations that offer a false sense of life. When you live in the light, you're transformed. You start to walk differently, talk differently, and live differently because you're changed. That's what light does. Light changes us from the inside and it's expressed on the outside. You start to live in freedom. You're no longer bound by the lies that used to hold you. And you're reminded, most of all, that the lonely place you once were is not your identity. It was a space that held you for some time, but now you're held by someone bigger, someone brighter and someone far better than what you might have found your old security in before. And here's the thing about it. When the light of Jesus shines in the darkness, you can be assured that the darkness cannot overtake the light. Nothing you hide beneath the surface can overtake, intimidate, or scare Jesus. What you may think to be a reason to isolate and hide alone is a reason for Jesus to step closer to you and remind you that he's here with you. He's here with all of us. Here's my point. Jesus is the light who offers a way out of the darkness and he gives the offer to each and every one of us to follow his light, to step out of the tents that offer us false protection and step into the safety, comfort and warmth of his bright light. This isn't easy, though. Coming from experience, I find myself settling back in my own tent every now and again, going back to the old ways of living. But because of Jesus, the old is gone and the new is here. That's what we get to celebrate this entire season. Because God is here with us, freedom to live in the light is accessible to each and every one of us. 